A medical drama 250 miles above the Earth is forcing NASA to do something it has never done before. They have to cut a mission short due to health concerns. Four crew members on the International Space Station will be brought home in the coming days. It's more than a month early. Chris Van Cleve is at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston with the latest on this. Chris, I know, of course, health always is the first priority, but I know there must be a lot of disappointed people at NASA today. Well, good morning. You know, NASA is not identifying the astronaut or saying what the health issue is, but made the decision that the safest course of action was to come home early. NASA says the ailing astronaut is stable, and while it's not currently an emergency, weeks more in space were not in the best interest of their health. NASA Administrator Jared Isaacman. This was a serious medical condition. Uh, that is why we're pursuing this path. The capability to diagnose and treat this properly does not live on the, on the International Space Station. Wednesday afternoon, Japanese astronaut Kimia Yui radioed mission control for help. Do you have like a crew surgeon? Yes, we'll get that in work. A flight surgeon? NASA canceled a planned spacewalk, and the live public audio stream from the International Space Station went silent. A day later, they decided to end the mission early. NASA's top doctor, James Polk. The crew is highly trained, and they came to the aid of their colleague right away. We have a medical emergency in the lab. Astronauts are given medical training before they launch. Okay, oxygen is in flow now. We just can't sustain somebody sick for a really long period of time. Dr. Tom Marshburn served as both a NASA astronaut and a flight surgeon. Doctors have to weigh the risks of staying in space and coming back to Earth. There's a 4G pressure on the body as you come as you re-enter. There's about a 10 to 20 mile an hour equivalent impact when it hits the water. So um, all those risks have to be added up and put together to make the right decision of what to do. NASA says the crew had mostly completed their mission. One American and two Russians will remain on the International Space Station. And while NASA has never had a circumstance like this, it has happened once before, back in 1985, on a Soviet mission to space. Vlad? All right, Chris, thank you very much.